have no apologies. I am not a Donald Trump apologist. I will support him. I will support him no matter what happens. Unless... question is like, as an immigrant, why should I support Trump when he seems very racist? Well first, can you give me any proof that he's racist? The whole Obama thing about his birth certificate, that's, that's pretty racist, you know what I mean? If somebody came over and said, oh, like, you know, where's your birth certificate, the whole thing, like, really like, before I'd even have some sympathy for him, and I, and I still do a little bit, but it just seems like he's very like the border wall like that's 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 very racist in my eyes you know keep, physically keeping people out and i get it that there are like criminals uh and people you know want in the country but most immigrants aren't like that and it just seems like an overkill to keep out specifically mexicans you know like yeah how is that for, um, it's okay how is that racist building a wall to keep people physically out, that's very racist. You know what I mean? is the definition of racism? The really for me? It no, that's the definition. Not the for you, definition. not for Austin. The definition. It's when a group of people hate and subjugate other people uh, based on the color of their skin or their beliefs or something like that, you know? And they believe their race is superior to others. That's the definition like, and, and, of racism. How is trying to protect our border wall from people coming in illegally racist. Okay. Because it's a border wall with a country, not a specific color of people. But it wouldn't even work. It, it doesn't matter if it works or not. That's not the discussion we're having. Okay. You're saying that it's racist. I just want proof. Okay. Building a wall to keep people physically out is exactly what the Europeans did back in uh, 2015, right? When there was a huge uh, influx of Syrian refugees going into, into Europe. Uh, they build fences, they build walls, and that's just not America. You know what I mean? America's a country of immigrants, you know? Like, I, I come from Brazil. You know, I, I luckily I was born here, but I see my brother, and, and I'm not gonna lie, like, he goes through a lot of, of problems simply because uh, we were uh, born the same month in different countries. I speak English, he speaks English, we're great students, we pay our taxes, we do all the things, and it's just, I feel for him when there are people that say, oh, go back to your country, oh, we don't want you here, oh, keep America white. And America, I mean, it's not, it's not white, it's, it's a country of immigrants, you know what I mean? It's That's totally fine. I just want to know how it is racist. Trump is not building a wall and keeping black people in one certain area, brown people in one certain area. He's building a wall with another country that has many different colored people in there. People are not allowed to overstay their visas, whether they're white or brown. Uh -huh. That's the point. He wants to keep our country safe because we have an added influx of child sex predators coming across the southern border. Okay. We have also had an influx of drug traffickers coming across the southern border. We've also had, a, had an issue of terrorists, people that don't want good for our country, going to Mexico and flooding in through there because it's easier to do that because our border is so weak. It's not because of a race. It's not because of a skin color. It's because he wants to make sure economic opportunities are here for Americans first, because he's America first, and then they can come over legally. Even, he even put more people down there to process asylum seekers. If he was racist, why is he sending more lawyers down there for asylum seekers? Because it's just the international law. Like, you can't lock... He doesn't have to order people to go down there to process asylum seekers. He doesn't have to do they're that. Cages. It's, it's they're in cages. I mean, this is like Nazi Germany almost, bordering it, bordering oh, it. Okay, I think that's a little far to say that that's like Nazi Germany. That's a little it's, far it's and insulting. It's putting people in cages. It's putting people in cages. And He's not doing anything. That policy was started under Obama. Would you like to call Obama a Nazi? Obama's not a Nazi. Yeah, it's like, but my no, but he's this. the one who started that policy under his administration. Okay. Trump came in and did away with separating them. They are in detention centers. That's just like jail. If someone comes in and they break the law, they're going to get separated from their children and go to jail. 
There's no difference. These people are now breaking the law when they come into our country illegally. They have to be detained. They have to sit there. They have to go through the processes to see if they can come in through asylum or if they're not here for good reasons. There's no, no, nothing racist about no that. Is this. Uh, and I want to know. Uh, my parents overstayed their visas. Okay. They've been here 30 years. They're hardworking. They love God. They love their country. Why should they be deported? Because they broke a silly law. They help move the economy. They help boost the economy. And another kind of thing about the whole drug situation, who do you think consumes all the drugs? It's not the Mexicans, I'll tell you that much. You know what I mean? So my thing is, why not go after the people that consume drugs? Well, because they're the Wall Street bankers and the suburban moms and like all the people that can't really, that, that basically part of his voter base, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I just... Well, when we go after the people who consume drugs, like in Joe Biden's 1994 crime bill, it locks up black people, it locks up brown people. When we go after people who consume drugs, because consuming drugs is a non-violent offense. Joe Biden's 1994 crime bill astronomically put so many black and brown people into prison. And what did Donald Trump do? He implemented the First Step Act with the help of Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. He specifically, yeah, okay. Okay. he specifically right. went after Joe Biden's 1994 crime bill policies that were still in effect. And he reversed a lot of them. 91% of the people released under Trump's First Step Act were black. If he were a racist president, he would want them to be in jail instead of getting released. I think Trump really likes publicity as well. And I gotta say, you're very well informed. I really appreciate that. I, I've, I've always wanted to have a conversation like this. I'm smiling under my mask. <laughs> me too, me too. Um, here's the thing, look. Uh, I think I think it's just... Uh, a lot you think maybe, you think Donald Trump might be racist because look, I mean, he hurts your feelings or something? I have not had any proof that he's racist. There's a lot of proof. There's a lot of things like, you know what I mean? Look, here's the thing. I, I, let me ask you this thing. Does Donald Trump betray the image or the symbolism of America for you? For me, absolutely. He is a hardworking businessman with no filter on his mouth. You go out to the boondocks, to most of the country, rural areas, they talk just like Donald Trump. That's why he resonates with so many people. That's why they're out there in these boat parades. He doesn't even have to be there. They're gathering by the thousands for him because he's a real person and he resonates so well with them. They love him. I don't know. I mean, I, I, there are a few, a handful of billionaires in the world. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know to like, look, I, I think I'm a person that speaks very honestly. You know what I mean? I, very openly. I don't filter too much. But at the end of the day, Donald Trump is a president. He is a diplomat. He represents America. So don't you think it's right maybe for him to have a filter, to have, uh, to, for him to express his opinions more politely, more diplomatically? Since I do not want Donald Trump to pretend to be something he's not. I don't want to sit there and wonder what he thinks. I don't want to sit there and wonder what he believes in. I don't want to, I don't want to wonder what kind of person he is off of the camera. Okay. We know what type of person he is, and that's also good for you to form an opinion if you like that or not. Right. You, What if he was like this in private, but in person, uh, out in public, he's out here acting all clean and polished? No, this is amazing. This is the most transparent president we have ever had. You know what he's thinking. You know what he's going to say. You know how he feels about everything going on in our country. And I think that's a wonderful thing to have from a president. Uh, uh, uh. I'll say this, man. Um, I remember early on, I was like, you know what? Let me give this guy a chance. Let's let's see if he works. And for me, at least, I remember one time when he was in a, in a, in a briefing, and he was just telling like, all these like horrifying things. He's like telling the media to like to stop uncovering stuff in front of them. He was it was and for me like he started he started to sweat. His upper lips were sweating. And it was just, it was really suspicious. And it made me feel like, what is this guy hiding? Like, because look, if, if, uh, if, if you're a family and, and the dad goes up to the son and says, hey son, I'm three months behind rent. I don't know how I'm gonna do. I'm really nervous. Have a great day at school. That's gonna make the kid really nervous. I think the president's job is leadership, is to calm the people. It's to be honest, you know, there's no room for lying. But it's to, to have a, a, an open, honest communication uh, with, with people. This guy... How is he supposed to do that when the media lies about everything he says? 
When he tweets, we know what he's saying because the media will not give him a fair shake. They will not sit there and accurately report on what he's done for this country. So I absolutely stand behind President Trump of being fed up with the media in this country. Social media suppresses his tweets. They suppress his followers. They sit there and they delete people who stand up for him. I have no apologies. I am not a Donald Trump apologist. I will support him. I will support him no matter what happens. Unless TV. Watch all of this footage. There's so much. We're just going to let it all loose on LibertyHangout.tv so you guys can see what's going on. Go to LibertyHangout.tv right now to watch Caitlin Bennett uncensored. Not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me, but you'll get to say you stood for the truth, you stood against radical leftism, and you stood up for America. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and share, hit that subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos. If you want to support my work, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash Bennett and receive cool perks like an autographed photo from me in the mail each month. Or you can go to caitlinbennett.org and get up to 75% off and free shipping on supplements and merchandise to support my work and start living a healthy life. My favorite product? It's Turbo Force because it gives me all the energy I need to make it through a long day of doing interviews. There are tons of other health supplements you can choose from to keep your body healthy during these uncertain times. And check out the website band.video to see uncensored content from conservative creators that have been erased from social media.